Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I want to talk about The Last of Us 2, and more specifically, Jesse, and how I think he is extremely overlooked as a character. But before I get into the video, make sure you share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Jesse is one of my favorite characters in this story, and it is actually pretty shocking to me that no one here on YouTube really ever talks about him. He is extremely important to this story. I know he is extremely overlooked because he is a side character and doesn't really have a character arc. Jesse stays the same pretty much from beginning to end. Jesse had been living in Jackson for a few years before the main plot of part 2 begins. We don't really get any backstory on him except that he used to date Dina. During my first playthrough of the game, I thought the way Naughty Dog introduced Jesse was really cool. I believe the way a character is introduced is extremely important and can make or break a character depending on how they are introduced and I was immediately drawn to know more about the character of Jesse. Jesse is a good guy and always has his friends back when they need him. He is a natural leader and we also learn that he and Joel seem to have a mutual respect for one another. I always felt calm while Jesse was on screen, whether it was a cutscene or gameplay. After Ellie and Dina go to Seattle, Jesse finds out they left Jackson and snuck out, going after them. Jesse eventually catches up with Ellie at Hillcrest and soon discovers that Dina is pregnant. After talking with Ellie, saying that they needed to head back home so Dina could get the proper care she needed, Jesse ultimately decides to go with Ellie to find Tommy. Seattle Day 3 is one of my favorite sections of the entire game. One of the reasons why this section of the game really intrigued me was the graphics. I think the graphics peaked during Ellie's Day 3 in Seattle. The amount of detail in the cars and road as it was raining really blew my mind. I really thought it was real life a few times. We also get really important dialogue between Ellie and Jesse that can totally be missed if you are not paying attention. Jesse asks Ellie why Abby killed Joel and Ellie had to lie to him or he would have found out she was immune. Just the way Jesse moves around and talks was interesting to me. I feel like between both games, Jesse might be the only character that seems near perfect. It doesn't seem like he was ever like a bad guy like Joel used to be a hunter, it just seems like he's always been a pretty top quality guy. The voice acting was top notch and I was really sad when he died. Jesse might have had the most abrupt character death I have ever seen. He went from one second just talking to Ellie, then the next moment he had a bullet in his face. I was also in shock after he died, like I couldn't believe it. I wish we got to see more of Jesse in this game, but that's the Last of Us universe for you. Even if you're a good person, sometimes you die in a way that you don't deserve. Sadly, Jesse never got to be a dad and see his own son being born. When you think about it, that's one of the saddest realizations in this entire game. Sometimes really ambitious stories, whether it's movies or video games, tend to cast a shadow on really great characters. Jesse is one of those, and I hope JJ grows up to be just like his dad because everyone needs a Jesse in their life. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.